So we've talked about what, what, what we're state fiscal and monetary policy are in for the next recession, maybe what economists have learned. Are our politics ready for the next recession? <laughs> and what do you think that the political lessons um, that were, have been learned at the state level by people, by Congress, um, and how likely, how does that impair our ability to fight the next recession? Uh, Wendy? <laughs> Wendy. <laughs> no, 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 that's not fair. No, that's, that's not, not fair, that's exactly. Not fair. I, mean, I, I could say, I mean, I, I just, again, I'm, I'm, I have to go back to my, you know, my time at the Treasury. In 2008, right, it, it, the beginning of 2008 seems like an inauspicious time to rapidly do fiscal policy, right? I mean, the, the Iraq debate, and, you know, it wasn't like the administration and Congress that, you know, Democratic-controlled Congress got along super well in 06, 07, but in some ways that made the 2008 stimulus easier because both sides had an incentive to get something done. And so, you know, the Congress said, look, we're not, you know, we're not insisting on our kind of tax, on our kind of stimulus, and President Bush said, look, I'm not insisting on permanent tax cuts, let's just get it done. And so, you know, there is a sense which that kind of fractiousness can lead to moments of, uh, you know, of cooperation. I mean, one definition of a Keynesian is a Republican in a recession. Uh, I, 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 you know, we actually had that discussion in 2002 and 2003, and Jerry's absolutely right. So, yeah, absolutely right.